So now we're gonna get we get to the point where Jesus was born and uh, born sinless, which he had to be. And so his childhood, because <clears throat> he knew who God was, he had that open connection. He didn't have a veil, you know, blocking him from from God. So God would have been communicating with him. At one time, I didn't know that. Uh, just like even a month, a few months ago, a month or yeah, a few months ago, I didn't know this for sure. I wasn't positive about that, but now I am. Now I understand things a lot more because of some of the stuff God has been teaching me like recently. And uh, so, so Jesus was connected to God, but now God's in total control. Jesus doesn't have free, you know, no get to know everything. He was a child. God didn't want him to know everything. And Jesus won't know everything until he's till the next age. But but God gave him what he needed to know. So it it would have been just uh, you know, really not much in his early years. He didn't need to to teach Jesus much. Uh he uh, probably taught him respect his parents, you know, to obey his parents, even though they were sinners, uh, you know, and just be and do as, as he, best he could. So God would have been guiding him to make him, you know, make him, um, you know, as good a person as he could be with the truth. And then uh, when it came time. To, uh, where he had to preach the gospel, that's when things changed. That's when he would have gotten full command of his of who he was. And what do I mean by full command? That means I'm, I've gotten to that point now. That when I first started, God was pretty much guiding everything. I when I wrote words, I could. I, I knew the difference from my flesh to who I am in God. But now, the last two years, it's been two years now, and it's like you're one. It's like I'm God. Okay? Even though I'm flesh, here, God has re replaced the old me, the, sinning, the sinful me, nature, and, and my memory's put in the, you know, right there, but it's it's a side. It doesn't bother me so much. Um, so I, my flesh is in total obedience to to God. And so when I write, I don't notice so much that He's giving me all the words. I just write. It's like an automatic. I don't need to, you know fumble through the writing again you know it's it's hard to understand this I know that because I know you don't have experience doing this <laughs> but uh, it's it's remarkable it's remarkable and then all the understanding that you have it's just it seems unlimited I could just do this all day long on the tapes one tape after the next one tape after the next just talking about the stuff I know without ever going to the Bible. Okay? I don't need the Bible. None of us uh, saints needed the scriptures. We only use them. God only guides us to script, uh, scriptures He wants us to know. Certain prophecies. If you, were a, uh, if you were a saint that didn't need a prophecy, He wouldn't even need the Bible. You see? He, and back then they had saints they had saints working with each other so they learned the vocabulary as they were uh, following the saints around almost like going to church in a Christian Christian church but it's not the, not quite the same they're there to get the vocabulary to, to not just the vocabulary but they're learn they're getting rid of their sins at the same time so they're, they're in that stage where everything's coming to them. By the time they get they uh, get sinless and know who they are, 
then of course then God has they have a vocabulary to use so they don't need the scriptures now God had to guide me to the scriptures for some prophecies because I'm fulfilling them end time uh, script, scriptures end time prophecies I should say and uh, so he wanted me to speak them so I, I never I didn't you know take the scripture and read them. I had to put them in writings and I re he had me re-speak those prophecies in a writing put a whole bunch of them together and that's what I've done for him so the prophecies now are spoken for the end time, for the last day. As soon as uh, you know I'm gone, then of course the, the end will come. Now, so, so it, it was really important for Jesus. Okay, getting back to him again. Very important for him to follow God's commands for everything. And then once he got full knowledge. Then it was easier for him to operate. Okay? Then it was right there all the time. Just bingo. He didn't have to sit and wait for a word to speak. It's there. Every word you speak, it's right there. Right straight directly from God. Because we're the Word. And God uses the Word to speak with. You see? We're just the flesh. This flesh is going to die. But we're going to continue being the Word. Jesus, the prophets, and us, saints. We're always the Word. We're created as the Word. We'll always be the Word. So now Jesus had to uh, find, you know, somebody. He only needed one man with faith. He only needed one man out of that, out of whole, you know, three years he's together to find faith in God. That man was Peter. Peter, uh, well, they were all sinners the whole time. They're following Jesus, you know. Uh, but right before, well, what was going on was God already knew the plan, already knew what was going to happen. Jesus would have known that he needed to have a, a man of faith come in behind him before he died he would have known that he didn't know it was Peter he didn't know of any of those guys he didn't know which one it was going to be but he knew somebody was going to have faith and it happened to be Peter and when Peter told him he was the Christ Jesus said that's, he's got it that's faith God gave him those words to say to me so Jesus knew then that he could go die. He knew his mission was over. All he needed was Peter 